Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you back and I'm so excited to do this reading for you guys today. Today's, today's reading is going to be a little bit shorter just because I'm a little bit short on time. But we will be looking into the question of what uh, they find attractive about you. So this could be any person. It doesn't have to be necessarily like love uh, related. It can be just any person that you want. It can be a family member, a friend, a a partner, whoever is really on your mind, uh, just imagine that person in your head for like 15 seconds and really focus on that person and then just uh, pick a pile that you feel most drawn to. As always, we have three piles. We have pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. Once you choose your pile, you can skip to the timestamps that are in the description and I will see you at your reading. Hi, pile number one. I hope that you're doing well today. We're going to be looking into the question of what they are thinking about you. So go ahead and pause the video and for 10 to 15 seconds, just really imagine this person in your head and uh, try to connect with this person. And then you can continue with the video and we'll see what this person finds so attractive ab about you. Again, it doesn't necessarily have to be about love it can be about whatever person is on your head okay so first the thing we should start let's just start with a tarot <laughs> so let's see what we have here okay we have the nine of swords we have the hierophant and the king of pentacles wow okay so i'm getting that this person has a lot of respect for you i feel like uh, maybe you have been more uh, maybe you have opened up to this person about uh, your hardships in the past or just this person sees you as very strong and very um, a person with a, a lot of knowledge in a sense of uh, a lot of knowledge and experience in the sense of like you have been through a lot of events in your life and you have learned through a lot of those events so now you're just so much stronger and so much more abundant with knowledge and i i think that this person just sees you as a, also as a very successful person um they're very proud of you i'm getting yeah they respect you they're very proud of you uh you they almost find you kind of like aspiring uh, is, aspiring i feel like they maybe ask you for some advice uh, just because I feel like you're so knowledgeable in a lot of things and here with this picture it just makes me think of like this woman is very smart and very you're kind of like I'm getting the vibe of like a genius um like maybe you're you're really good at I feel like you're really good at many things or you're just you're just smart you have a lot of knowledge you have a lot of like you've been through a lot so you have learned a lot that's kind of the message that i'm getting and this person is just they find you very aspiring they find they're kind of like i feel like you have built success and i, I do feel like that you're kind of like um you also have some sort of like abundance like i, I am sensing that you are more financially stable uh and i feel like you have built this abundance from nothing literally and i feel like that's what this prince of person finds so attractive about you and so inspiring about you is because you literally started from nowhere and now you're you have built this kind of like empire the success and um you, I, i'm getting also you have a lot of people working underneath you like you're kind of like at a higher up position um that's also kind of what I'm getting. I, I'm also hearing that you have the key to a lot of like answers. You have like the solution to a lot of problems. So maybe that is a part of your job is finding solutions for uh, some problems or finding answers for, for, for some questions. Something like that is also what I'm getting. But this person does think about you a lot, okay? Uh, I'm getting that this person thinks about you before they fall asleep and um, they want to be more open with you, but they find you a little bit like 
intimidating maybe you guys don't let everybody in your life so it's a little bit hard to get to you is what i'm getting so that is also what kind of makes you more attractive i feel like is um that you're a little bit unreachable to some people is that also is what i'm getting okay let's take a look more we have the temperance okay that's good oh yes and we have the eight of pentacles and we have the chariot so yeah this person is you're very inspiring to this person i feel like this is kind of like a um like i feel like in the past you have proven to be very patient with yourself and you're also very hard working you're very disciplined um you're someone who when when they have a goal you just achieve it no matter how long it takes no matter how much hard work it takes you you get to that point and this person finds you just so inspiring and they kind of want to be like you they want they kind of want to have you as like a mentor and they just look at you as very successful very abundant very hard working and disciplined and just so inspiring i feel like you're very inspiring to this person and I feel like you're also very patient, like a part of something that you have learned from your past is being that, that patience and maybe sometimes doing things slowly is more helpful than just rushing into things. I feel like you're very intelligent, you're very, you're just smart. I am sensing a person here with a lot of knowledge and I feel like you are just smart and this person what they find attractive about you is all the success that you have cheated, achieved and in the way in the way that you have achieved because it's i feel like you guys did it all on your own with very little or just like no help from from someone from someone else yeah i'm getting that you guys have built something with with your own hands i'm getting very strong energy here of success built from discipline and hard work and a lot of like resilience and just motivation i feel like you guys are very like a go 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 type of a person and you're you achieve everything that you put your mind to you achieve it and this person finds it very inspiring very wow they they really just look up to you is what i'm getting yeah okay so let's take a look at the back of this card here and we have self-discovery new ideas and creativity so i feel like this person again you're very just inspiring to them i feel like when they're around you they have they get many new ideas they they feel more motivated they feel like they they can actually achieve their goals because i mean you have done it and i feel like the way that you have done it is also very inspiring because you found you found a way to achieve something that many people just would give up i'm getting yeah you guys are very successful and i love that for you guys i hope that this reading resonated with you if it did then please leave a like and a comment and i hope to see you in my next video guys bye hi everyone if you chose this pile that this is going to be a reading on what this person finds attractive about you so i recommend you to pause the video for 15 seconds and really think about this person and try to connect with this person picture this person in your head and take a deep, deep breath and just really try to connect with them so that we can read their energies as best as possible so i'm super excited to do this video for you guys today and i think we can just start right away right okay so we have the hanged man first we have the moon and we also have the lovers okay so i'm getting this person finds you very mysterious i feel like this you guys are a little bit more mysterious you're a little bit more hard to get no i also yeah i feel like what this person finds very attractive about you is that you guys are like you're very chill you're very cool you're very like unbothered is what i'm getting and you're very mysterious like you mm, maybe it's like in your appearance you guys have like a mysterious sensual type of a look with the lovers here i do i, I this could be about your maybe you're asking about like a romantic situation 
and I feel like this person finds you very attractive, like, and, and like, you're very beautiful to them, uh, you're a little bit, like, mesmerizing, and I'm hearing you're one of a kind to them, uh, this, per this person finds you very unique, and I feel like you're very hard to find, very hard to get, so this person loves that about you, they, they find, what they find so attractive about you is your beauty and your essence, your, like, when you walk into a room, you, you just kind of, like, all eyes are on you like everybody is looking at you because you're so like you just have that vibe you just have that energy yeah it's like you're the star of the show when you walk in somewhere everybody is looking at you everybody's thinking about you and i feel like you guys are not even trying to achieve that i feel like it's just your nature i feel like because you you guys have built up your self-confidence like you don't you don't even have to try to show it anymore is just a part of you you know it's like everybody is noticing it it's not just this person but this person just they find you very mystical very mysterious and they want to get to know you more and i feel like you guys they, they kind of look at you and they're like you're kind of nonchalant is what i'm getting like you're so like chill you're very unbothered you're and it's in a good way, it's in a way of like, what other people think about you doesn't really bother you, is what I'm getting, you know, and this person just, I think that this person is feeling a very soulmate type connection with you, or just a very like, they feel a very big connection with you, like they, they I feel like you're not very close to this person, they want to get to know you more, but they feel very like attracted to you they feel very like a soulmate connection with you they really feel something deeper with um towards you it's not just like oh i find this person attractive it's more of like a inside type of connection it's inside and out is what i'm getting okay let's take out the rest of the cards yeah okay we have the four of cups wow and we have the ace of wands Ooh, and we have the nine of pentacles wow you guys so you're definitely hard to get i'm getting it's really hard to get your interest right it's like um you guys are just like very unbothered very like i, I feel like because you're so beautiful many people like they want to get to know you they want to like develop something with you but you're not very interested like it's really hard for you it's really hard for people to get your interest to get your attention and this person is here with the ace of wands i'm feeling a little bit of a sensual sexual energy so i do feel like this person is again attracted to your personality and to your appearance but there is also like this sexual and sensual connection between you guys and i feel like you can feel it but you're kind of i feel like you guys also kind of have like similar feelings about this person like you also like them you also want to get to know them but you're playing a little bit hard to get you're just um you, you you i feel like you're pretending like you're not interested but you also are interested but this person really sees you as like a, a goddess really a beauty you guys are so beautiful to them and you you really have i feel like you guys are just like so kind of mischievous in like a good way because you know what i'm getting is like you guys are in the same room but you keep looking in another direction. You never look at them. And you notice them looking at you. And you maybe like you will smile at them. But but you're not giving so much. You're not showing a lot of interest in them. You're really playing hard to get. I feel like you guys are playing dumb. But I'm saying this like in a good way. Like you guys are pretending like you're not interested. Like you guys are pretending like you don't know that they're interested. When in reality I feel like you very well not what you're doing i feel like you guys know you guys are playing a little bit of a game i'm not gonna lie <laughs> but i think it's cute i think it's very like sexy I, I find this energy very sexy and very just mysterious and very like this person is just they just wanna get to you so bad but you are just you're taking your time you're you're not in a rush you guys are just playing some a little some little games and i think that's okay i think that it's what uh, it's making things more fun and it's making you um seem more appealing to them more attractive to them right 
Okay, so let's take a look at the back of this card here. We have beauty, snow white, and magic. Yeah, you guys see? This you is very mystical, very beautiful, very magical. Like, your essence is so magical. Like, when they look at your eyes, it's just like... I'm getting you have very strong eyes. Maybe it's the color of your eyes, the shape of your eyes, or just the vibe of your eyes are very deep. They they really sparkle when you when they look at your eyes. Um, they really sparkle and I feel like it's also a part of why they find you so attractive is your eyes. I'm hearing your eyes and your hair are playing a big role in it. Um, but yeah, that's what I have for you guys today. I hope that this reading resonated with you. If it did, then please leave a like and a comment and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys! Hello pile number three. If you chose this pile, then this is going to be a reading on what they find attractive about you. So I would suggest that you close your eyes for 15 seconds or how, however much you need and really visualize this person and try to connect with this person so that we can read their energies as best as we can. Um, and I think we can start with your reading now. So let's look at what they find attractive about you. Again, this doesn't necessarily have to be about love. Just imagine any person that you want to know about, okay? So, okay, we have the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Swords, I'm so sorry. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, and we have the Ace of Cups. So first thing that I'm getting is what this person really likes about you is that you guys are very giving. You guys are not shy to give is what I'm getting. You're always there for people. You always want to support people. And you always try your best to help people. I feel like what this person... You guys have a very sweet energy. A very soft energy is also what I'm getting. But I feel like it's... Um, it's it's because you understand the struggles of other people because you have been through the same struggles as well. So this person, what they find attractive about you is your natural giving state. Like you are just naturally very, very giving, very loving, very protective of the people that you love. And you're very nurturing. You kind of have like a like, people feel safe around you. People, I feel like maybe you have a very soft-spoken voice. You guys are just, have, like, a motherly energy in the sense of, like, people feel safe around you. People, people feel like they can trust you. They feel protected around you. So what this person is, like, this person is very into you. It's, like, I feel like they have never met a person like this before, a person who has paid this much, much attention to them or showed them this much love and care, I feel like they can call you at any time and you will pick up. You'll, you're never busy for them is what I'm getting. Like you always make that time for them and this person is really into that because I feel like they haven't experienced this before. Wow, I love your energy. Your energy is very sweet, it's very, it's very soft and nurturing as I said. And you guys have a very natural type of beauty. You guys are very natural. Um, I feel like you maybe like to dress in a more simple way, like um, more simple simple colors. Uh, maybe you like to wear, I'm getting a lot of like nude and brown, white, black, like neutral tones. Um, or you, you like to spend a lot of time in nature. This can be just like a confirmation for you. Um, but this person loves your aura. Your aura is very light. It's very angelic is what I'm getting. And your voice. I'm getting your voice is very angelic. You guys have a very nice voice also. And you kind of know how to say the right things at the right time. You know you know how to give the right advice. You know how to uh, speak to people and how to help them. You guys, as I said, you ha you have a natural way of giving to people, of helping people, and you guys, um, you feel very, very happy, you feel very fulfilled when you do it, you don't feel tired when you, after that, because you love doing it, you love giving back to people, and I feel like you have a very nice community around you, a very loving and protective community around you is also what I'm getting. Yeah, we have the justice here, uh, we also have the ten of 
wands and we have the high priestess so you guys are also very intuitive is what i'm getting and that's also a part of like why you give such great advice because you really give advice from your intuition and because you're so connected with your intuition you give very good advice uh but you're also very fair you're also i feel like you feel very deeply about people who go through things that you kind of feel like they are not supposed to go through like they're you feel bad for a lot of people because you have been through the same situations yourself and it makes you sad it it, it makes you it really doesn't make you happy to see your loved ones going through situations and that's why you're so giving you're so helping and this person loves that about you they love your natural essence they love the way you deal with things um how and also how confident and trusting you are in yourself i do see that you're very confident in yourself and your abilities you're um even though you're very sweet and you're very giving and um like you you love people is what i'm getting you're not someone who lets people walk all over you you still know where when to set the boundaries and when to be like hey like this is getting a little bit you know it's hurting me as well i want to help you but i also can't you know i don't want to hurt myself you know you guys know the limit when it's when it's like okay you're crossing the boundaries and this person loves it about you they love the self-respect that you have about yourself and let me see what else i'm getting it's like what they find attractive about you is also the way you speak like uh your voice i'm I'm just hearing a very soft spoken voice uh, also i heard cooking maybe you guys are into cooking or um they love your cooking maybe you like to es express your love to other people through baking or cooking um something like that uh, i'm also seeing an image of a lot of fruits so maybe you guys are like into making desserts or something like that and um, they love it. They love your cooking is also what I'm getting. But it's like, yeah, you guys are so sweet. You guys have a very light and beautiful energy. So let's take a look at this card right here. We have independence, care, and karma. Yeah, as I said, you guys care care a lot about people. You also, But you also care about a lot about yourself. Um, and it's like, you're not out to get anyone. You're not out to chase anyone. I feel like you guys have a... Are also very spiritual believe in the universe and you're you're kind of like you trust the universe a lot you trust yourself as i said you guys are very intuitive here so you're not out to get anyone you're not chasing anyone you're kind of living your own life you're you i'm um getting a lot of peaceful energy with you guys so i feel like you are living a very peaceful life and this person is they just find you attractive, appealing. It's it's really like a light-hearted energy. It's it's beautiful and very light and uh, angelic in a way as well. So I hope that this video resonated with you guys. Uh, if it did, then please leave a like and a comment. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye, guys.